What's going on everyone? Jared here with another rapid review. Today we're looking at the new X-Men 97 Marvel Legends Cyclops. So uh, I'm sure as you all are aware, Cyclops is one of those mainstay characters that, you know, they got to make a lot of. It's got to be one in almost every way. If he's like Wolverine, you can't have X-Men without Cyclops or Wolverine. All right. So very happy to say, you know, they did a pretty good job with this figure. I'm very happy with it. He's on the new Vulcan body, I believe, which has been modified in a few ways, and I'll go through that in a minute. Um, but I think overall he has like this really nice superhero aesthetic. Like his chest is nice and broad, his arms are not too long, his legs have just enough bulk. I think they really got the proportions down on this one. I don't normally talk about that unless it's, you know required but I, I do want to outline that this is a very like that he looks like he just left out of the comic or left off the tv show i guess in this instance so let's start with the articulation the head is on a ball hinge <laughs> the head is on a ball hinge which is gonna you know do ball hinge things going down to the shoulders we have this lovely shoulder joint to go up a little bit. The butterfly joint does not move a ton, but you do get a little movement out of it. You have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist hinge as usual. I don't think I moved the head. So the head can look up about this far, look down about that far. Going down to the chest. All right, I gotta say something I love that they did here. If you've ever owned any of the other legend cyclops a lot of these pieces were not always glued down and they would they would fall off when you'd move stuff these don't it's great and one thing that i really love that they did here they made part of this strap molded into his chest or his abs here so whatever you do it's not going to break it up and to me that's just like that's that's genius it's so simple yet it's so effective you know, it works great and nothing's broken up. No, like straps are dangling anywhere. It looks great. So, you know, he's got his normal ab crunch. That far down, that far back. Normally I prefer a diaphragm joint, but with uh, this effort here, I think they did a great job. Of course, you'll be able to rotate around. Going to the legs. You can almost do perfect splits. You get the cut here, and again, great use of the straps to hide the cut. Can't even see it. Double jointed knee. Again, like great proportions on the legs. They don't look too long or anything. Boot cut down here. And then down to the ankles, you're gonna get that nice rocker. Gonna go far up, that far down. So let's move on to the accessories. First of all, let's talk about the head he comes with. I There's something about this head, I'm not sure. It just seems a little soft in my opinion. Or maybe it's like the way they painted the lips. It just looks like really soft. Like he's like smirking almost, it's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But it also seems like the visor is like off if you look at it under there. Again, maybe it's just me, it just looks a little weird. I think they could have done a better job with this head. Maybe a little bit of shading in the hair because it looks like chocolate ice cream or something. But, you know, we get what we get, right? But we get an alternate head, which has him gritting his teeth and shooting out a lovely optic blast. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, it should just came with uh, something detachable so you can use this without the blast. I agree. But, you know, the, this blast is really nice. It came out really good. And of course you can pop that on pretty easily. One of his alternate hands is his, you know, the tapping of the trigger on there. It looks good. It looks really good. He comes with, speaking of alternate hands, he comes with two like uh, splayed out hands. And then he comes with two fist hands. And then you get, you know, as we talked about, the fingering hand. Yeah, he's gonna make someone very happy with that. 
probably not bad guys. But, you know, let's see. What are we doing here? Well, $25 for this figure. You know, it's not bad. Not bad. He comes with, I, I feel like this is like the baseline, what it should come with. Energy effect, check. Plenty of hands, check. Alternate head, check. I think that should come with every single figure at this $25 price point. And in Cyclops case, it does. Could things have been done better here? Sure. But there's some new engineering here that I love. And overall, I'm, this, this to me is like the perfect legend Cyclops. I feel like this guy, you could stack up against like Mafex or Mezco. And he'd probably rank pretty high. You know, so overall, I'm going to give this Cyclops a 9 out of 10. I think they did a great job here. And, you know, I can't wait to review more figures from this X-Men 97 line. Because Hasbro's actually seeming to do a better job now. So, there you guys have it. We will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. We'll catch you later.